Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got just a quick little video talking about two interesting little pieces of gear that I have picked up recently. These are the Big Idea Designs Bit Bar Inline and then the Titanium EDC Wrench. I was gifted both of these recently and I just thought they were some interesting pieces of gear and I wanted to make a quick video talking through them and just giving my first impressions of them. So we'll start with the bit bar because I've had this longer. I've had this for about two and a half weeks now. Yeah, about two and a half weeks now and I was gifted this. And it's just a really cool little piece of gear. It has this square bar, got a pocket clip, got the Big Idea Tie logo on it, and then this slides out, and it is a bit driver. This is a Torx T8 in it right now that it came with, and you can see you can do it in line like this, or the really cool part about this is you can put it into this slot, and now you have a T handle for more torque, and then you can put it into this slot, and now you have it in this L shape for a, a whole shit ton of torque. And I just thought that was such a cool and interesting design with the, the three different positions you can put it in, depending on how much leverage you need. And then it's got the one bit that it holds in the end, and then it holds two other bits in the body right here. So it came with these three. It actually came with a fourth. I'll show you the box real quick. Here's the box, bit bar in line. And the packaging is real nice. I was impressed with the packaging. It came with a sticker and a card in this nice packaging, and then came with one fourth bit. This is like a, a hex bit of some kind. I'm honestly not really sure what kind of bit it is, but they're all super high quality bits. They feel like Weeha quality, although I don't think they're specifically Weeha brand, but they just feel of similar quality and they're super nice and this thing will fit any um, any fourth inch small bit so these are fourth inch um, diameter and it will fit any kind of those into these little slots and they just go in right like that and they're held in magnetically so they don't rattle around boom and then the one goes in the top and it's all magnetic and the same with this, it's got a magnet that keeps it in, and then one here as well, and it's got a magnet here that keeps it in. There's the bit bar, and then we'll talk real quick about the EDC wrench, and then I'll just talk for a second about my likes and my dislikes, and we'll get this over with. So here's the wrench, and this is just an adjustable pocket wrench. And I thought this seemed so cool because it's really small and slim. Overall, these are only coming in at about, let's see, this wrench is three, just over three and three quarters, right at about three and three quarters. And then the bit bar is coming in at just over, it's right at four and a quarter inches. So pretty small. I'll keep that up there so you can, you can see how they look. So, they're pretty small, real light. I don't know the weights of these offhand, but if I remember, I'll give some text up there. So this wrench, it's adjustable. So right now it's set at three and a quarter. I don't know if you can see that line. Give that focus, there we go. There's a line right there, denoting the three and three quarters. And then you turn this wheel here and it moves it tighter. Now we're at one half inch and it goes all the way in to three sixteenths. And I guess if you, yeah, here it is at one fourth of an inch. You can see holds that, yeah, super tight. So boom, will fit any, any size bolt or hex shaped thing from three quarters of an inch to three sixteenths. 
And then down here, it has it in metric, the measurements. So that's super cool. It has a pocket clip. You can see this screw is what's holding on that front plate. You can see it move there. And this wheel is nicely knurled. Gives you a solid grip, and it's really smooth and easy to do with just one finger. Very smooth. And this one, I didn't know this, but it even comes with this, the little titanium lanyard bead, which was a cool touch, and the little paracord lanyard. So I like it. It feels, it feels light. They're made of titanium. They're nice and light. It feels nicely machined. You can see all these corners and edges have a great chamfer on them all chamfered and this wheel is held in with torx hardware so you could replace it or take it out if you needed to service it and same up here a nice big torx size got the pocket clip um and same on this you can remove the pocket clip if you want to you just take this off and the pocket clip pops off if you don't need the pocket clip all right so now let's get into likes and dislikes so we'll start with likes um, on this, I love the form factor. I like how slim it is. Uh, it's really light and easy to carry. It's got a solid pocket clip. It holds nice and tight, and it's pretty easy to get in and out of stuff. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like in a pocket right now. But it's just the functionality that you can carry in such a small package and the potential power you can get with these different uh, turning options is really impressive to me and this it holds in it produces friction with this little circle device right here that ball is under spring tension and there's one on each side and that engages with the body like that so that's what serves to give it friction as it's sliding in and out so yeah the overall form factor the size and the weight and just the ease of carrying to the amount of power you can get in this, I think is very impressive. I think that's really cool. And it also seems nicely made. This thing is really nicely machined. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. It has a nice subtle machining pattern on, on it. It's got these cool uh, laser engraved diagrams right there. So yeah, I like the portability. I like the power you get. I like the machining quality and I like the design. Of it. So they're my likes. And uh, we'll talk about the dislikes here first. So the dislikes, it rattles just a little bit. Not sure if you'll be able to hear that. But if you give it a shake, this body just has a little bit of play in here. And so it just shakes. I'm going to zoom in. So this just twists. A little bit and produces just a little play and sometimes it'll move in and out just a little depending on how it's positioned that's not a huge issue because most of the time you're carrying it it'll be in your pocket so there's it's kind of jammed up against something and if it's got tension on it it doesn't rattle so not really a problem most of the time but just a little thing and then there is a bit of looseness in the whole thing so you know you have that rattle here this bit holder is just a tiny bit loose i wish that were just a little bit tighter and then this it's got just a bit of play and i understand why that's there from the design perspective because this is an open tube it's going in here it has limited support on the sides so i understand that and it is nicer this way. It doesn't flex nearly as much in this plane. So there's really only play this way. So it's a little rattly. It's got a little play, which I don't love, but they're really not huge issues. And then my other thing that I kind of dislike is it's a little boxy. Like, as you can see, I mean, it's literally a square, but these edges are softened pretty well. They're chamfered and a little bit rounded, but it just is a little boxy in pocket. And these top corners are just, they have a slight edge to them. So it just gets a bit boxy in pocket. It's not too bad. And it's going to depend on what kind of pants you're wearing and how much you notice that kind of stuff. 
but there's something I'm not in love with is the boxiness. I think it'd be cool if it maybe was like an oval shape. That'd be interesting. I don't know exactly if that would be better, but it'd probably work a little better in pocket. So there's the bit bar, likes and dislikes. Now for this wrench, and this is the one I was just given this earlier today, actually, so I haven't had a bunch of time with it, but I wanted to get a, go ahead and film this video because I'm going to be busy with holiday stuff shortly, and I won't have time for about a week. So I wanted to get this filmed and done so I could have some content to upload. So this I got today, so I definitely had less time with it. But I think this seems super cool. I love the design and the slimness and the portability you get for so many, for such options and power with this. I mean, going from three quarters of an inch to three sixteenths in one tiny little, tiny little tool that fits in the palm of your hand. And I'd say that's very impressive. So I, I love the power uh, and the portability you get th with this. And then it's also really slim. Nice and slim. You're looking at mm, a third, a quarter, quarter inch or so. Yeah, you're looking at about a quarter inch of thickness right there, which I'd say is very reasonable for what you're getting here. Um, it seems really high quality. Like this thing is nice and smooth. It's really well finished. The laser engraving marks on there, you can't even feel them. It's it's nice. It's not got like a grabby feel like some laser engraving. It all feels nice and smooth. I can, I can run my fingernail over there and not grab it or anything. Uh, this uh, slidey, the, the twisty, I, I don't know what you would call this, the spiral and the mechanism feels quite well made. It's super smooth, easy to use with one hand. So that's nice. It's very usable, very easy to use. Like you could adjust this with one hand really easily if you needed to be switching between different sizes of nuts or bolts. Um, it came with the lanyard and the nice little bead, which I thought was a cool touch. I didn't know it came with this. Um, what else? More likes. <laughs> Yeah, I think those are the likes. It's well made. I like the power and the portability. It comes with the bead. It's got a pocket clip. Those are my likes. We'll talk quickly about the dislikes. It has just a little bit of movement up and down, which is probably inherent of this design. I'm not sure how much you could do about this, but it exists. There's just a little bit of up and down play. Now, there's no rattle. It doesn't really rattle at all when you shake it. So is that an issue? No, I don't think so. Uh, next, it's a little bit heavy. It feels like just a little bit of a chunk. It definitely doesn't help the lanyard bead is on here, but you know, that's pretty light. It's slightly chunky. It's, I don't know, in feeling these, they feel about the same. And I might have expected this to be a little bit lighter just considering how thin it is. But so it's, it's a little bit on the heavy side, really not that bad though. And then my last dislike, I think, is this pocket clip is just kind of meh. Like the ramp is very low and then it's pretty, got pretty low clearance. So if you had thick pockets, this might have an issue getting over your pocket seams. And especially with the low ramp, if you've got a thick pocket seam, this might be hard to jam into a pocket. Like I have jeans with fairly thin pocket seams and it's pretty hard to jam in one-handed. You really want to use two hands to get this in. And the tension, I don't know, it really doesn't even have that much tension. It's just that the ramp is small and it's very abrupt. So if I could really change one thing, it'd be the pocket clip, give it a little more clearance, maybe make it deep carry, have it loop over. Somehow, I'm not sure exactly how you do that, but have it loop over and make a deep carry because as it is, you got about this much of it sticking out of your pocket, which I don't love. I'm probably not going to be carrying this in my pocket. Both of these are really for my bag. I have a, a kind of tote bag thing that I take places sometimes if I need my computer 
or other stuff like that. So these are tools for a bag mostly, but still, if you're gonna have this in your pocket, I prefer a nice deep carry and a clip with more ramp. So there are my dislikes. It's There's a little bit of play in this front plate. And I should note, if you lock it all the way down, there's no play. And it's the same if you lock it all the way open, there's no play. So that can be resolved if it's in the max open or max close position. Uh, and then my other dislike is the clip has a low ramp and fairly low clearance, and it's hard to get into your pocket one-handed. Other than that, I think this thing is super cool. I hope to get some chances to use it. I like it a lot, and I'll show you the box really quick. I forgot to do that. It comes in the same box. Um, it's got stickers and a card, but this one came with two extra pocket clip screws, which I thought was an excellent touch. These two screws right here. I thought that was an excellent touch of them to do. Here's the box. Same as the other one. I think it's just kind of, you know, demonstrating some commitment to the product that they give you the stuff to service it if something goes wrong, like you strip a pocket clip screw or something like that. I think that's excellent. Or you lose one and it just falls out. So there you go. That is the tight DC wrench and the inline bit bar from Big Idea Design. Here's their logo and their name. I think currently I would recommend them. Definitely. I'd recommend these to anyone looking for a very portable, for portable, easy to use tools that are very high quality. They are a little pricey. You're looking at like 80 or $100 and 100 they're both around or a bit under $100. I'll put their exact price on screen right now. So they're a bit pricey. I don't know if the value is 1,000% here, but overall, I'm happy with them. I'm happy. I think I would recommend them. I'll do a follow-up longer-term review for these at some point. Not sure when that will come out, but it will exist eventually. All right. That is the end of our video. Thank you very much for watching. I so much appreciate all of the likes, comments, subscriptions, everything like that. I love it. It means a lot to me. It definitely means a lot to me. Please don't forget to go and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, because I have more videos coming in the future. I have a lot already on the channel. If you like sharpening, knives, stuff like that, definitely check out my other videos. And... That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. And I will catch you on the next one.